Hi, my name is Melanie, and today I'm going to go over how to fire precious metal clay with a torch. First thing you'll want to do with your torch is we need to go ahead and fill it, and this little handheld torch here uses butane as the fuel source. So when you get your torch, you just want to make sure that it is over on the minus side so that when we fill it, the fuel doesn't come right out. And what we're going to do is we would go ahead and we would take this and flip it over, and you just need to go ahead and actually fill up your torch. You, now mine is already full, but you'll know that yours is full when your handle gets really icy cold. And if anything starts to spit and sputter out on you, you know that it's full. And then you'll want to go ahead and just let that settle for a couple minutes before you begin. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that off to the side. Now to fire on, you're going to go ahead and need a kiln brick. This is going to be safe for us to fire on. And you want to make sure that your area is free and clear of anything else because this is going to be a flame. Now when we do go to light our torch, we are just going to make sure that the safety lock is up. We're going to flip it over to the plus side and that is going to go ahead and it will have the flow of gas come out. Then we're going to push the ignition button with our thumb and this is going to spark it for us. Okay, And then we will go ahead and we will start to fire our clay piece. Now we do want to go ahead and always fire in a dark room. And the reason for that is that we will know when to start timing our piece when we're firing it by the color that it is glowing. So now my fuel has settled in here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put it over to the plus side. I'm going to go ahead and push the ignition with my thumb. And then I'm going to gradually go up to my metal clay piece. Now it is going to start to smoke and then it will actually catch on fire. This is good. We're burning away all the organic binder and then we'll get it hot enough so that those pieces of silver can actually center together. Okay. And because this is catching on fire, you want to make sure that your piece is totally dry before you torch fire. Otherwise that moisture will turn to steam and that will wreck your piece. So you always want to make sure that you fire a dry piece. I'm going to go ahead, keep doing this, and now my project will start to glow. Now once it starts to glow, you want to go ahead and set your timer and keep rotating your fire for three to five minutes. You always want to make sure that you're firing the flame at about a 45 degree angle. Just keep moving it. Now, if during the firing process, if you get too deep of a red color, you could actually start to pit the surface of your silver piece. If you start, start to see pretty shiny silver, you're actually starting to melt it. And then after three to five minutes, you'll go ahead and you will just simply turn off your torch by shutting off the fuel source and then putting down the safety lock.